<laughs> strange strange pheromone. pheromone. What's that smell? Is it what? ant? <laughs> Is smells, it your ant? But Monos, it smells like a lot of ants <laughs> or just one really big ant. <laughs> What's everybody? I'm Mike. I'm Nick. We are the Brothers Murray Pants. Time to go fighting once again for Unmatched, but this time we're on the same Ooh, team. Together. What fun. We're this on the is same Unmatched team. Adventures. And tales to amaze. Absolutely. Indeed. So this is a co op version of a match where you are going together. You're going up against a villain. And so some minions Mothman and things. In the, in the Martian and stuff like that. The Green that. Martian yeah. invasion. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be playing this right here. Uh, shout out to Restoration Games for sponsoring the Brothers Murph as a whole and for letting us play this game. Super we excited. We appreciate that as always. Um, yeah, let's get to an overview, I, guess so. I think. All right, check this out while you're watching this overview to see how this works, because it's a little bit different than a normal game of it's Unmatched. Uh, while you watch that, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe Do if it. you're new to us, and uh, we'll see you on the other side of the overview. In Unmatched Adventures Tales to Maze, players will be teaming up to face off against a villain and their minions. The two villains are Mothman and the Martian Invader, both of whom seek to wreak havoc on the players as they try to succeed in their sinister plots. But that's not all players will have to deal with, because each villain will be accompanied by minions equal to the amount of players in the game. These minions are all unique and provide additional challenges for the players to overcome. But players aren't left empty handed, they get to take control of a hero who intends to foil the villain's plans. In this set, you can play as Nikola Tesla, Dr. Jill Trent, Golden Bat, and the famed Riverboat Captain. Captain Andy Christmas, each with their own unique deck of cards and abilities. Each round, every hero, villain, and minion will get to activate at least once. The player order is determined by the initiative deck so you can't predict when your turn will be. On a player's turn, they take two actions. These actions are the same as in every other unmatched set. Players can maneuver around the board, moving their hero and any sidekicks they have, and every time they maneuver, they must draw a card. Players can also play scheme cards for an action, carrying out the listed effects. Finally, players can attack. Melee fighters must be adjacent to their target, while ranged fighters simply need to be in the same colored zone. Anytime a player attacks or defends himself from an attack, they will play a card face down. Their opponent will do the same and then cards are revealed simultaneously and effects are carried out. As an attacker, you hope to have a higher attack value than your opponent's defense value. You deal damage equal to the difference. Many cards have effects that can trigger immediately, during combat, or after combat. This is where much of the flavor of each character comes to life. When attacking the villain or a minion, cards are taken from the top of their deck and played face down. These cards are slightly different from the standard unmatched cards as they list separate attack and defense values based on how that card is being used. These cards will often have effects listed on them, so be sure to carry out all effects listed. Each minion has 10 health in their own stack of cards with effects specific to that minion. The villain has 10 health per player in the game, so in a two-player game they would begin with 20 health. When a villain or minion takes their turn, they will be looking to attack someone. First, if they are adjacent to a fighter, they will simply attack by drawing a card off the top of their deck and placing it face down. The defending player may then play a card as well, and cards are revealed simultaneously with effects being carried out as usual. If a villain or minion is not adjacent to a fighter, they will move up to their move value in order to get in range to attack. They will move to the nearest fighter and attack them. If there are multiple fighters that could be targeted for an attack, players get to choose where the villain or minion goes. If the villain or minion cannot reach anyone with their move value, they instead stay put in the threat level is increased. The threat level moves the villain's objectives along and often makes them more powerful. After each character is activated in the round, end of round effects take place. These are villain and minion specific and will often deal out extra damage to fighters and increase the threat level. Each time the end of the threat track is reached, the villain moves one step closer to victory. Mothman will be trying to destroy bridges in town. Each bridge has an ability that can be used when players move their fighter adjacent to them, but each time a bridge is destroyed, that ability is lost and the map becomes more difficult to navigate. Doom markers will be placed on bridges, increasing the amount of threat gained each round. The Martian Invader will be populating cornfields with aliens, which will cause all sorts of nasty effects if they aren't dealt with. Each of their cards also shows symbols from invasion tokens. Each time the end of the track is reached, an invasion token is flipped face up, meaning any time a card is drawn that matches a face up invasion token, that card becomes more powerful for the Martian Invader. The villains win if they complete their objective four times, or if they defeat all heroes and sidekicks, and players win if they defeat the villain. Defeating minions is very helpful as they can make a player's life more difficult, but they do not have to be defeated for players to win. Each hero is unique in this game, and and heroes from other unmatched sets can be used with unmatched adventures, Tales to Amaze. Similarly, all heroes from this set can be used in standard competitive games of unmatched. Nikola Tesla uses coils which can be charged and then discharged to make use of various abilities listed on their cards. Golden Bat is the first ever superhero and they hit harder if they stand their ground, gaining plus two to their attacks if they haven't yet maneuvered this turn. Dr. Jill Trent uses gadgets and science in order to gain the upper hand as they attack and defend, and Annie Christmas uses her size and strength to gain an advantage as she hits harder when facing foes with a higher health than she has. It is up to these heroes to save the day and teamwork will be key to defeat these pesky villains once and for all. What if I was to tell you we're about to tell you tales to amaze, Mothman things. <laughs> Mothman. I've been loving 
just the, the whole pulpiness, the pulpiness of, it. Yeah. of it. Yeah, it's great. We are here to fight Mothman. We are. First and foremost. Why? You see Mothman? You punch Mothman. It's then true. you give Mothman a hug. We're like Sour Patch Kids. Exactly. Sour than sweet. Exactly. Uh, but right now they're destroying bridges. We can't have that. It's just honestly too much <laughs> it's money infrastructure. for the city to Bridges hold. are hard to make. They're expensive. They're incredibly difficult to make. Yeah, they're so expensive they're and wonderful. we need those, you know. Although I like how diverse the bridges are. You have a covered bridge, a truss bridge, a suspension bridge, and a drawbridge. All in one town. That's a all lot of town. different kinds of bridges. This town's getting after it. I they're know, getting after right? it with their bridges. Lots of different kinds of bridges. It would be a shame if there was a bunch of tragedies on them, which is what <laughs> Mothman's going to try to do. Almost assuredly. One thing we uh, want to note, uh, this is a prototype. So yes. Uh, a few things you're going to see uh, are going to look a little different in the final product. One thing is Mothman himself and then the Martians as well on the other side. Uh, they're going to have different kind of uh, plastic yeah, like bits translucent of, stuff, of yeah. fanciness. They're going to have translucent wings, the red eyes that Mothman always has. Yeah. The Green Martian uh, will have cool green stuff with a beam that's coming down. You probably see uh, images of that going on. So just want to let you know that what you're seeing here is not the final product. Yeah. Anything and everything else is subject to change, okay. as is always the case with these. Um, and if you're interested in learning more about things like Mothman or the Jersey Devil or pretty much every like single thing this game, mentioned yeah, like in this about... game, Nick was a part of a podcast for a time called Death by Monsters, and they sure. honestly it's covered everything that's in this most, game. Most of, the, most of the minions and villains, yeah. The Mothman episode in particular was fantastic. Check that out, and if you like Death by Monsters or liked Death by Monsters, I should say, Matthew and Paul have a new show called Remember, Remember. It's really good. Which is about history. You should check that out as well. There's links for all that in the description below. But Nick, let's punch Mothman. Indeed. So I'm playing the Golden Bat, the original, yes. the first superhero. First superhero. Super cool. Uh, you're playing Annie Christmas. Riverboat Captain. Yeah. Seven feet tall. Huge, so tall. She was just bad A. Yeah. And had a, a pearl necklace, and each pearl stood for a person that she punched out who challenged her to a fight, and she <laughs> yeah. just punched some dude out. And that's just so rad. So <laughs> I love it so much. So I good. love it. Just it was like, on like a time traveling um, from like Japanese street theater and stuff like that, time traveling, fighting evil from Atlantis and stuff. Love this, it. this cool golden skull. It's awesome. Pre cool. pre Ghost Rider, Stanley. Yeah, very a very good suit. mini too. I love this yeah. mini. Oh, so let's so do good. this thing, man. We have Indeed. the initiative deck, so we're not going back and forth, not, right? We don't, know, we don't know. So yeah, and our goal is to kill Mothman. We don't need to kill the minions, although I feel like we should kill at least one because it's going to be very difficult. But. We just need to take out Mothman yeah. before he destroys four bridges or kills us. Yeah. So we have the Jersey Devil uh, yep. and the Ant Queen uh, who are helping Mothman just today. So if randomly, we can yep. defeat any amount of them, we can. Mothman's got 20 health. The minions have 10. Yes. And let's find out who's first. Gosh, I'm terrified. Well, you should be. It's you. Oh, wow. It's me. You're okay. the first player. Mm. Oh, my stars. Okay, okay. cool. Okay, Nick. What, Mike? We're in the same. Now we can talk about our cards and stuff we like can. that. We can. We can tell. Begin... I can see my hand. It doesn't even matter. Um... Yeah, so I mean, we can. My vote would openly... be go punch Mothman. See, here's the thing: is like, man, I would have to get. I'm far away. I would have to get like in to. I don't really want to be like right here because my movement's three, so I could get there. Ooh. But I'm like, that sounds like a bad. If you get idea. over here, you can end on the other side of the bridge, but make use of the bridge because the bridges have abilities. I so could. long as they're standing. Although we, there's no doom on that bridge. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so I can't get to the other one. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. I am going to maneuver, though, and just okay. mostly because I also want to draw a card. I'm just going to go one, two, three. Sure. Terrified, Mike. I'm absolutely terrified of there's, all these. There's a lot all going these, on. This ant queen, she's so mean. It's um, a big ant. She's a big it's ant. a big ant. Um, and they can, also, they can move through each other. They just can't move through us. Same way where we can move we can, yeah. through each other. Still can't occupy the same space and all that jazz. Um, and then I'll... Maneuver one more time, except for I think I'm gonna stay. Yeah. I'll swing. I'll swing here. Okay. Do you want to discard a card? And uh, well, I guess you don't have health to recover. So you probably nope. are. Yep. Good. So if I had to recover three health, so no, we're here. There's yeah. no doom to remove. No. Nope. No doom to remove. And I have seven cards in my hand, so we're still good. All right. Who's okay. up next? I'll about to say you go. But oh I yeah. Guess most of that's it's not right. We don't know. It's not Mothman. us. It's the Mothman. Mothman baby. All right. So Mothman is not adjacent to anybody, Mothman, so they're gonna baby. move. <laughs> He's also a man. He's got red eyes and flies really fast. Da, da, da. Okay, Nick. Okay. All right. One, two, three. They can get adjacent so, to me. One, two, three. They can get adjacent to you. So, so they would attack can... whoever, um, except for Mikey, they are two away from Charlie. Oh, um, Charlie! So they would attack someone adjacent. If there's no one adjacent, That's they will dealer. go to the closest person. So they are going to go. Whoosh, doosh, one. Uh, oh, no, no. They're three. No, yeah. So they're one. Two, boom. Boom. Yeah. They are next to Charlie. Okay. So. They are going to be attacking Charlie now. Boom. Oh, man. 
Uh, okay. It's a bigger map. You can also play this map yeah. with five players now. So that'd if you a, want a five a player crazy game, just a free for all like classic game. Yeah. So it's a bigger map, but it's not that big. <laughs> okay. You're still not running away that much. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm ready. Okay, so we're gonna reveal them. All right, so. Okay. Oh, they did a faint, no! So they're immediately gonna cancel all the effects on their opponent's car. Okay, so what I would have been able to do is swap the positions Ooh. if I want of Charlie and Annie and have Annie be the new defender, and I wanted to do that to just get kind of in range. Yes. But that's okay, so that effect does not take place because of the faint. They are attacking for two. I'm defending for three, so I'm not, I'm not taking fine. any yeah. hits. But uh, I didn't get to do my effect. Okay, so then these are gonna oh, wow. go discard. Boom. All right, boom. Okay, so that was the Mothman. All they only right. do one thing, they don't attack multiple people. All right, oh, player you? one, here we go, here we go. All right, Mikey, So on, I'm, I'm gonna maneuver. All right, and I'm gonna go, I have movement of two, I'm gonna go one, two, just Ooh, like dude. so. Mothman is exposed. Um, Ooh, he's ranks of me too. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to have Charlie attack. Mm. I'm gonna have Charlie attack. Okay. The Mothman, they are adjacent. They are ranged, they don't have to be adjacent, um, but they but they can be as well. All right, okay. you ready? Yep. Boom, all right, bottom dealing. During combat, reveal the bottom card of my deck. I'm here dealing, I'm just, I'm just the dealer. Yeah. We're gonna go dealing seconds, dealing, dealing bottom seconds. deck, you know? Dealing off the bottom. <laughs> Reveal the bottom card of your deck. Increase the value of this card by the boost value, and then I get to choose to put it on the top or the bottom of my deck. Oh, so you have yeah. the discard. That's nice. Yes, and so this is a boost Ooh, value two. of two. So you on have top five of three, now. so we got five total. Okay, so they have overwhelming dread. So during combat, increase the value of this card by one, plus one for every destroyed bridge. Luckily, there's no destroyed bridge. They are trying to destroy four bridges. Um, and so their defense is only two, so you're gonna hit them for three. All right. They do have an after combat. Place Mothman in the closest enemy starting space, which I think is going to be one, two. It's going to be, and let's just put them back in the middle. So they're going to go back to one of these starting spaces. All right. They took three hits. They're now at 17. Now this card here. Top or bottom? I think we're going top. Okay. Yeah. It's not bad. We're going to the top. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and take this card on that one. Thank you, sir. All right. All right, who's next? It's gonna be Jersey Devil or Ant Queen? It's gonna be the Jersey Devil. Okay, so they're gonna go. They are going to be, they have three movement. One, two, three. One, oh, they can get here. They're gonna go one, two, yep. right to Annie Christmas. So they're gonna be attacking Annie Christmas. Okay. Um, Everyone's so close. And right. Charlie is ranged. Everyone else is melee though, so. Yeah, trying to stand back. He's got his little pistol right there. I am playing Ooh. better together. So immediately, all players discard the top card of their deck. Oh. Just straight up, bam, done, gone. Well, I guess, yeah, it's the card I just put there. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, well. All righty. And so they're only attacking for one, though. Okay, so I'm going to well defend there. And if your fighter is adjacent to a friendly fighter, you your, you and the friendly fighter can basically recover health. Both of us are at full health. Okay. But, you know, I wanted to have a nice, strong defense. And Christmas just shrugged that right off. Yeah, indeed. So then after this one, after combat, each player with 13 or more cards in their discard pile, luckily it's neither of us, you would remove those from the game. So if you had like things that allow you to go through your discard pile to get them oh. back, they'd be gone, gone. All right, we're good. But that's not too bad, not too bad. All right, it's gonna be Ant Queen, we know it's that. It's gonna be the Ant Queen. Ant Queen, she is <laughs> Ant, she's very, very, very. Now here's the thing, Nick, <laughs> ants hate bats. They hate they? golden bats even more. And since they're only one space anyway, they will. Oh, yeah, they will. I was, like, right I was like, is this a real thing? I was like, oh, no, I see what oh, you're Oh, man. Doing. Blood feud between okay, them. Okay, so she's going to do this then. Oh, stars. Just okay. don't even defend yourself. You're good. Just no, no it's defends easy. it. It's easy. Um, oh, that's interesting. Okay. Um, I am. Okay, I'll do this. We'll see that. All right. All right. Skirmish. Ooh. During combat, add plus one to this card's value for each revealed strange pheromone initiative card. There is none yet. None yet. Out here, but there will be soon. So I'm defending for four, so I will succeed at defending this because four to four means I win because I didn't take any damage. And if I won the combat, I can move one of the fighters in combat up to two spaces. I'm trying to decide, do I want to move the Ant Queen away to, from me or do I want to move closer? 
The problem is she's kind of blocking my way here. Now, you do have the thing, though, Golden Bat, if you haven't maneuvered yet, you do have stronger attacks. So yes. Do you... And a lot of my cards will allow me to, because if I move in another way, other than maneuvers, I still get my stronger attack. Yeah. So I kind of want to, I'm going to go boom, boom. Nice. That way I'm a little closer to people. I, maybe I'll, I'll regret going into a vice like that, but we'll see. <laughs> now you're going last next round, almost guaranteed. Almost guaranteed. Yeah, that's the thing, because I don't know when I'm going, so like you I don't. might get punched. I have 18 health, though. Oh, that's, sorry, yeah. Ant Queen. Okay, Mikey, so now that's the end of the round. So now we're gonna activate all the end of round initiative cards from left to right. So Mothman is gonna go first. We're gonna advance the threat marker. A number of spaces equal to one plus a number of doom tokens on the bridge. So it's gonna be two. Boom, boom. Okay, and the Jersey Devil, each player with a fighter in the Jersey Devil's zone, which is gonna be, oh, just, just me. You. Although I would've been there regardless. Uh, discards uh, the top card of their deck equal to the threat level. So I have to get rid of three cards, blam. We blam. gotta get rid of the Jersey Devil immediately. <laughs> blam. Oh, is that right, Devil Zone? Oh my gosh, that's harsh. Keep in mind, if you run out of cards, yeah, that's it's... like your health, ba your timer basically. That's not good. Okay, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be great. <laughs> and then the Ant Queen, we're gonna advance the threat one space. And then if the what? threat level is three or higher, which it is, we're gonna add a random <gasps> strange, strange pheromone. pheromone. What's that smell? Is it what? ant? <laughs> it is smells, it your ant? The monos, it smells like a lot of ants. Or just one really big ant. <laughs> so that one's gonna go into the discard. Oh man. All right, and then those are gonna shuffle Ooh. up All and right. go again. So we already saw a card that referenced, hey, if there's a strange pheromones in the initiative track, will. so as this game goes, that it so will be tough. a more and more likely chance of that's happening. Um, <sighs> and then I have in the box. You can also add these cards, these amazing event cards, yep. which will make the game harder if you want to. If you get really good Why at would you ever? Just let you know. All right. Cut the deck. Now it's perfect. Ooh. Who's first? I think I made you last. I'm so sorry. Gosh, I hope it's me. Or I hope I'm early. Rough, it's the Jersey Devil. Okay. So now the Jersey Devil is adjacent to both of us. So let's have them attack me just because I'm, there's so much stuff around you. Yeah, that's true. Right? Yeah. Uh, we get to choose in that case. Um, hmm. Okay. I don't think I'm going to defend myself. Gosh, Ooh. is that so silly. Is <laughs> Eddie that dumb? Christmas. Is that just, just... He's so strong. Oh, I don't know. You can do whatever you want. I have no idea. I honestly don't, don't know no, what all the no, cards no. do. Let's be smart. Let's be smart. Play the Mississippi Queen. Forked tail whip. So immediately, <laughs> if the opponent played a card with the same name as a card in their discard pile, cancel its effects. I do not have a Mississippi Queen card in my discard pile yet. Ooh, that's tough though. So they're gonna hit you for three. So what's your immediately then? Uh, oh, if they don't have it? Play the card with the same. No, 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 no. If you, if you had a card in your discard pile that matched this card's name, you would ignore um, you would ignore this value. Basically means you have a zero. Okay, so I do get to keep its value. Yes. So I'm gonna get hit for one. Okay. Yes. Cool, and my thing is that I can, with this card, I can't basically be defeated. I can't have my health reduced below one. Oh, okay. So it's a good one. I was gonna hang on to it for later, but I do have multiple copies. I do take one damage. Yeah. All right, I can live with that. I can live with that. Yeah, all right, not horrible, not horrible. <sighs> all right, next up we have the Mothman. Okay, so Man. they are, they're two away from everybody. So they're gonna go one, two, and they're adjacent to all three of us. Should I take the hit this time? I can take it. You sure? I'll do it. Okay. The yeah, Alban's attack and the golden bat. Moths also hate bats because they both fly in fluttery weird That's ways. That's true. And they resent each other for it. That's true. Can I get a Mothman card? All right. I'm not defending huge the here. Moth we'll see. The Mothman. Immediately, if the printed value of the opponent's card is four or higher, ignore its value. Thank God I didn't play the card I was going to play. <laughs> <laughs> they are hitting for three, though. Okay, I'm going to get hit for one. So I'll take one damage. I do have 18 health. The Golden Bat has a lot of health. So. Nice. What um, you got about that after combat stuff? So after combat, the defender will happen first. So I look at the top three cards of your opponent's deck and put them back in any order. So I'm going to do the top three of those. One, two, three, Mothman. Okay, so this one is um, deal one damage to each adjacent opposing fighter. We are kind of like around kind of them. bunched in. This deception card, this will essentially reshuffle their deck. So do we kind of want that? When do we want that to happen? I don't know. And then this maybe, one, maybe, no. let's have this one first because it's four attack, but they, they haven't destroyed any bridges yet. 
Yeah, let's do that, then the deception. Okay, we'll do, actually we'll keep this order then. Boom, perfect order already. All right, so I took one hit, and then what's there after combat? Uh, there is if Mothman won the combat, add a doom token uh, to each bridge. Each bridge? Wow, that's a lot of doom tokens. So doomy. By the way, if we run out of doom tokens, any ones we'd have to add after that? Go so the lowest, I'm guessing? Uh, no, they increase the threat. Oh. God. So if we only have like one, we have to add three. That's not good. We would, uh, that was, that, that was poor. All right, that's Mike, fine. You definitely made me last. Did I? Maybe I did. <laughs> I'm All right, you're one. up. Come on, um, Annie. Okay. You're next to two. You don't necessarily have to move. Well, that's good for me too, because I, I won't have to move either. But I do need cards. I got to think for the future. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. I'm going to maneuver. But I don't think I'm going to move. Well, what I'll do is I'll back Charlie up one, two. Okay. Because they are ranged. True. Uh, and then I'm going to attack. He's got a little gun. Yeah, he's just holds a little he's gun. He's got a little gun. I love it. The best dealer. The dealer that's like underneath. Hand, that's underneath the table right here. Yeah. Just like, no. Yeah. Don't try and anytime, cheat. Anytime, anytime it gets a little stressful, the table people are arguing, he just sits back like this. And when he's done that, pistol's already there. Yeah, pistol's like, already there. Just, Boom. Just, and he's like, this is the warning. Don't make me get any Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> she will destroy yeah. you. This will just make you mad. <laughs> And Chris would go make you dead. She will kill you. Yeah, <laughs> she will rip your arms off. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to so attack. So awesome. And Chris was rules. Oh, man. Should I go for the Jersey Devil? Should we try to get rid of a minion? I, uh, the Jersey Devil's going to suck. I don't know. I'm going to attack the Jersey Devil with Annie. Okay. There, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's tough to say, honestly. Doing it. Blood curdling scream. So during combat, the opposing fighter discards one card from their hand or the top of their deck at its boost value to this card's value. So they're only defending for one. So you have to discard a card at the top of your deck or from your hand, and you're gonna add the boost value to this. So do you have like a one that you don't mind I getting rid of? Two. I have another copy of this card. You also go off the top of the deck, but you might add like a three to it. Mm. Yeah, Jersey Devil's discarding cards all day. I'll do this, so I'll add this, so it adds just one, so yeah. I still beat it by two. Okay, not bad. Oh, man. Boom. Okay, and then what's your after combat? Uh, my after combat, I never drew my card, I realize. Um, oh, good call. My after combat is, so what would it have been? Uh, if your fighter is adjacent to a friendly fighter, your fighter and each friendly fighter can recover a health. I'm not any longer because I moved Charlie away. You sure did. Darn it. Sure did. Didn't hey. think that through. That's all right. We had the Jersey Devil for two. Didn't do nothing. Indeed. All righty. Who's next? Oh. Little Goldberg, who's next? Why <laughs> who's is Bill next? Goldberg not in this game? Uh, should be. That's going to be the expansion. Uh, he's one of the minions. <laughs> uh, all right, it's going to be the Ant Queen. Uh, no, that's the Pheromones. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Now it's the Ant Queen. Okay, it's you. Okay. You didn't go last. I didn't go quite last. Barely even, not even. So here's the close. question. Do I attack Mothman, or should I try and smack the Ant Queen? Or the Jersey Devil? I'm right next to all of them. I think, I think based on what we've done, we've hit Mothman a little, we've hit Jersey Devil. So we should choose one of those two. Oh... Jersey Devil or Mothman? Okay. Oh, man. I have a really good card, but it's much better if I win combat. And it, it's a one, a level one. But well, you so haven't maneuvered. So it'd be a plus Ooh, two. that's an interesting point. Let's go for it. I'm going to attack. I can also attack twice, too. So let's do, let's, let's smack the Jersey Devil. Okay. Okay. Boom, boom. Crap. They're going to do it. Immediately, if the opponent played a card with the same name, I don't think, oh, is this in my head? No, it's not. So, um, so I am not going to hit them. It's only well, actually, no, it's gonna be three. So I do hit them for one because I did not maneuver. So I have a plus two to all yep, of my attacks. defending for two. So you do succeed in the combat. Boom! And then so my after combat ability here is a punch to shake the earth. Deal one damage to each opposing fighter in your zone, which is going to be all of them because I am in two zones here. Two. Um, and if I won the combat, I deal two damage instead. So everyone's getting hit for two. Yeah. But it's only a one, so it's one of those things where it's kind of like, it's tough to do that with. <laughs> See me dance right now? So everyone get hit for two extra? Yep. Mothman just didn't even know what happened. They're like, excuse hey. me, I just got here? <laughs> I'm trying to wreck a bridge. Oh, that, that not maneuvering was, was clutch there. Okay, so now I think I'm going to smack Moothman. The Moothman. Oh, or should I attack the Jersey Devil? I'm going to tell you right now, I'm, I'm playing a five attack. No abilities, just five. I might be able to kill the Jersey Devil. Let's do it. Why not? Go for it. Let's at least get them close. Yes. And then on... Well, if it's their deception card, it has zero on it. Or 
Maybe it will be. Easy. Boom, oh, it's not. Darn. Oh. So during combat, if the opposing fighter discards the opposing fighter discards one card from their hand or the top of their card. Oh, they add to that. Uh, I'll discard this one, this terrifying roar. So they're going to have two defense. All right, so you have five. You'll hit them for three. Okay. I feel like next Again, round we'll be able to get rid of them. I feel I like feel we're... good about that. Oh, man, that was so close they've gotten their deception. I know. Murder in Hong Kong, great game. Um, <laughs> all right. Okay. That's me. Well, we know that it's going to be the Ant Queen. The Ant Queen, baby. So she's right next to me, so she's going to smack me. Okay. What are you going to so, do? So... They might have a card that references the pheromones. There's already one in there, so... Yeah, and I'm kind of worried I'm going to get... I have not that many cards left. I have a really big defense card. I have a defend five, but I'm like, should I play that now? That's a good question. Because I didn't maneuver last turn, so I didn't get to draw any cards. You feel I'm, lucky? Yeah, I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling okay. I'm not going to do that one. I'm going to hold on to that one. Okay. All right, boom. Boom. Ant Queen, during combat, if the value of this card is equal to the threat... Uh, Oof. Oh, it's equal? Wait, what? The value of this card is equal to the threat level instead. So it's four. Oh. Bar. Oh, that's not oh, good. That's, so that's not far. Great. So I get hit twice. Nah, that's all right. That's okay. Savage Swarm. So, savage, uh, so mine's Sight Beyond Sight. After combat, I look at the top three cards in my opponent's deck and put them back uh, in any order. Nice. So, um, so this one... Oof. Hmm... This is tough. Uh, the Ant Queen lost the combat, advanced the threat. Uh, I'm gonna, oof, yeah, I don't want this Pheromone Frenzy to happen because this is gonna be a strong card. So yeah. we're gonna put that, we'll do, we'll do, actually, we'll, we'll leave in the order it's in. It seemed to be the best order. Okay. Okay, okay. Now we're gonna activate left to right. All right. So each player with a fighter in the Jersey Devil zone. It's just me again. Bob just discards a card, right? Oh, no, four cards? Yeah, it's equal to the threat. Oh. <laughs> That's so many cards. Jersey Devil's coming for you, man. We got. We need to them. kill the Jersey Devil so quickly. Yeah. All right, that's the threat equal to uh, the number of Doom Tokens uh, on the lowest that's numbered two. bridge. That is two, so Gosh. we're getting near to they the haven't first. haven't destroyed a bridge yet, but man, their threat's really high. Okay, and then the strange pheromone there is that each player with a fighter in the Ant Queen's zone discards a card. That's me again. Oh, that's like half of my deck. Okay. Would that then, be from your hand, do you think? Uh, oh, yeah, you're probably right. Oh, then I have to discard my... Oh, no. Dude, they got, they've got you marked. I'm going to... Oh, I have nothing. Oh, boy. Remember, you're like, it's fine. I don't need cards. Oh, wow. It's fine. Rough. Okay. It's fine. Then what's the other... Uh, um, advanced threat marker, one space. Boom. Uh, then if they're... Uh, then if the threat level is three or higher, it super is. Add a random strange pheromone. That's not good. The initiative. Deck. Mikey, we're gonna see how this goes. I'm a little worried about it. I'm a little worried about it too. I'm gonna need Charlie to come in here and, and, and work this I deck. need to be going first and I need to maneuver and leave. Oh, I'm, I can't move. I'm surrounded. Oh. I do have some scheme cards that allow me to like put myself in any spot, so. Your boy needs that. Oh, man. I am surrounded. But here's the thing. If one of us dies, game's not over. It's when all players die or they... Even Charlie Don't can be left alone. Me? Leave it to Charlie. Charlie's, Charlie's are Charlie's a little pencil. He'll be like... <laughs> right right in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you ready? Yeah. All right, Nick. It's going to be the Ant Queen. It's going to be fine. The Ant Queen's going to just attack you immediately. It's Defenseless, gonna be great. baby. I don't it's remember which one I put here. So after combat, three. So it's three. Easy. Okay. So after combat, the ant queen lost the combat. Advance the threat marker one space. God, I almost want it to advance. It, it's tough when you're right here at the end because there are cards so that reference strong. the value of this, and it's you know. That's it. Yep. Okay. No defense. That's honestly, nothing could be worse. Yeah. I, I mean, I had, I had 15 health to start this round. I don't think I'm going to die this round, but we will no, see. No, no. All right. All right. That's a pheromone card. We'll deal with that in a little the bit. The good thing is, is both the pheromones would come out after she goes. So the cards that like reference the pheromones won't yes. really happen because they only matter right. if they're out in the initiative right. order first. All right. All right, so it's you. Save it's me. me. It's me. I will try to save. Well, I'll just kill something. I'm just gonna maneuver. If you can get rid of the Jersey Devil. It's only two. I know. Pheromones, baby. I'm gonna maneuver. And. Hmm. 
I, oof, I think you should not get surrounded in this game. <laughs> I think in general, that's a nice, <laughs> good bit of uh, strategery right there. I'll move Charlie one, two, I don't think I'll leave him. I don't think I'll move anybody. Okay. Um, Charlie's about to his last line of defense. Just like... <laughs> um, Okay. Oh, man. Actually, I'm not in the positions I want. I want to get to a specific... No, okay. I will have actually moved Annie over here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play Captain's Orders, a scheme card. Place Annie in any empty space in her zone, then place another friendly fighter in an empty space in Annie's zone, and I gain an action. The reason I wanted to do mm. this is I am going to put... Ooh, Annie over here, and I'm going to move Charlie. Let's leave me here. Yeah, it's fine. Over to here, because I gain an action, and then I'm going to have Charlie attack the Jersey Devil. Uh, oh, because he's ranged. Oh, sorry. Oh. I have to move them. Oh, I can't. You can move them here if you want Charlie to attack. No, so I'll have moved Annie to this spot. Because again, same zone, so in the blue, so I can move Charlie. But you're here, you're still in the blue. Oh, you want I to try that way? Yeah. Oh, right. I see, I see. Now I'll have Charlie go. Okay. Sorry, that was a confusing way to do that. Uh, you find the Jersey Devil? Yeah. All right. All right. Wham. Ooh, Jersey Devil's a hoax. It's a what? deception. So uh, they have no defense. So basically, whatever this card is put into the Jersey Devil's discard pile, that's when you'll shuffle the, their deck and put, shove the whole thing back together. So, right. um, and you so cannot did, cancel that either. I did all that maneuvering, ultimately didn't need to, because there was no <laughs> defense, but long shot during combat, if the opposing fighter is not adjacent to your fighter, <laughs> the card's value is five instead. So yeah, Charlie like this and this, like, oh, I'm gonna get, 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 get back a little bit. Uh, so it's five, which is plenty enough to get rid of the Jersey Devil and defeat it. So we don't need to shuffle our deck, they did. Which is Boom, great. Boom, and zero, Oof. defeated. Get out okay. Of here. One less thing to worry about. Also gives you an exit. <laughs> yeah, which is at least huge. one. Okay. Right. Now, if it's your turn, that'd be great. It's the Jersey Devil. They're gone. So, so this initiative card's actually gone out of the game. Out of there. Boom. Yeah, your Jersey Devil. And then we'll move on. It is you. Hey. Okay. Well, I'm gonna maneuver because I have no cards. Get out of here, Jersey. We'll say defeated. Boom. Um. So I'm gonna maneuver. I can move three. Uh, I'm gonna go one. I'm just gonna kind of regroup a bit. Two, three. Sure. Uh, and I'll maneuver again. And I'll go. Oof, just one. Sure. I want to get to that bridge, but I can't quite get there. I dig it. Okay. I dig it. That's it. Okay. And okay. Moth Another pheromones. Oh gosh. And then the then that moth man. man. So I think they're gonna come to Annie Christmas. Yeah. Boom. I do not have a card attack. to defend myself, unfortunately. Oh, 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 let's go. So it's going to be what it's going to be. Overwhelming dread. So ah! increase the value of this card by plus one for each destroyed bridge. Luckily, there's none. That's why we put that one That's there. That's why I put it there, yeah. So it's going to be four hits, though. Which Ooh. is not great, but not It's horrendous. good for me because one, two, three, four. The only reason it's great is because any Christmas, if they have lower health than who they're fighting, she hits harder. Hits harder. Okay. She likes it that way. So, you know, that'd be something. Yeah. All right, so it's the end of the round, so let's go ahead and shuffle those up. Oh, we gotta, we gotta activate all so of them, don't we? So deal a damage to each opposing fighter in the Ant Queen's Well, first we have to do this zone. one. Do oh, yeah, right, the Ant Queen themselves. Sorry so she's about gonna that. add a, the last pheromone. She's gonna be strong, man. Man, because, oh, we can't, yeah, we got, we got, we We need them to destroy a bridge. Bobman needs to quit, quit. Shuffle their around. feet and destroy a bridge already, all right, for us all. I think they're going to right now. Yeah, probably. Uh, all right, so deal one damage to each opposing fighter in the queen's zone. Um, you. Oh, oh, and Charlie. Oh, oh, rough. Man. Oh, rough man. stuff. Ouchie, ouchie. All right. Okay, I, I then do. each player with a fighter in Ant Queen's zone discard its card, so you have to discard a card. Oh, no. Same thing I'm in where you're no cards. Uh, <laughs> this, this is going to finally reveal to the world just how bad we're not good at this game. We are at this we're game, not very good at this a game. match in general. All uh, right, the Mothman, so advanced threat marker, um, one plus one for every Doom token, so it's just gonna be one. Boom, you'll just come to the end here. This will cycle around, but every time we get to here, they work yep. on their objective, which is destroying bridges. Indeed, so this, all the Doom tokens are gonna go to the next lowest bridge, in this case is bridge two. <laughs> Boom. 
now I can't walk across and that. now you are, yeah, you're kind of more pinned in. So we're going to yeah. place Mothman adjacent to the hero with the lowest health, which I think is going to be Charlie. Yeah. I guess, bam. Ugh, not good. Okay, and then um, and then each player discards a card. <sighs> Barf. I have none. Um, ooh. I'm going to get discarded this one. Oh, I only have one card, too. This is bad. we got to get our cards right, oh. man. <laughs> We're like, just Rule bridge, number please. one of our matches. Don't get stuck with no cards. It's, yeah, real It's talk. a card management game. It's not. Yeah, this is. Okay. We're doing okay. Oh, All right, Charlie, what are you going to do? Oh, man, we got to hope. Right, Mothman, we've taken a quarter of Mothman's health off. Now that we have gotten rid of one of the minions, I think we need to go full send on Mothman. I think we just run away really, from the Ant Queen, and yeah, we just go straight for the Moth. Far away from the Ant Queen. Yeah. yeah. Because she is going to be, especially if her pheromones come out first, she's going to be rough. Yeah. So, like. Well, as soon as you said that, Nick, the thing is with my, with my luck, you try to three dealing cards dealing seconds. You. Pheromones, what I say. <laughs> yep. Pheromones, what I say. All right, okay, Mothman. Okay, so Mothman's going to hit Charlie. Oh, my God. Look, gosh, this you're right. Charlie's showing up to work. Hey, man, nothing in my hands. Nothing in my hands. Is a pistol right I'm here? A pistol right here. Little, yeah, one of those. About that. That's not a one of those. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Ooh, deception. Oh, so Mothman, a hoax. I love that. It's just like this hoax. So nothing. So one of these cards put in the Mothman's discard pile, shove their discard pile back into their deck, including this card. This effect cannot be canceled. Wow. That was pretty lucky. That's good. I think we set the deck for that and we forgot. Yes, I did. That's right. We did do that. You're right. We, sh we should have known this was coming. I just completely forgot. You know, if you have memory, it's As helpful. is my want. Yeah. I'll, I'll forget stuff willingly. Okay, so then that was the Mothman. Okay. We got you. me. I'm going to maneuver immediately just simply <laughs> to get should. card. I'm going to maneuver twice, to be honest, and I'm going to just back up. One, two. Yeah, at least especially we'll go Charlie. one, two, and then back up again and go, let's see here. Uh, yeah, I'll leave Charlie there, and I'll move two over here. Okay, who's going up next? Um, it's gonna be Pheromones. Classic. Oof. And the Ant Queen. Okay. All she's right. moving three, so she's gonna go one, two, three, or one, two. Yeah. Doosh. That's Doosh. right. That's she's right. attacking. I do not have the ability to defend myself. No, <laughs> sir. I, sir. I don't love it. <laughs> All right. The value of this card is equal to the threat level instead, but it's only one. So it's the same. Thank goodness we needed wow, that. Wow, that was lucky. One hit. Because all, that. I guess not all her pheromones came out, but most of her pheromones <gasps> came out. That was lucky. Okay. All right. Moving right along. And her pheromones and, and me. You are going to wow, wrap okay. it out. <sighs> but not having Jersey Devil makes it that feel a little less bad yeah. if you're going last. So here's my thing. I'm not entirely sure what to do because I'm not next to anybody. I could get next to Mothman, but then my attacks won't be as strong. Sure. But I also can't go anywhere if I don't maneuver. So I mean, I'm you can maneuver and just kind of build up, and then maybe they'll move to you by the time. You know, you never know. Ooh, interesting. Um, oh, that's interesting. Oh. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, so I am going to maneuver, and I am going to move... Here and I'm gonna maneuver again. Just okay. To, I'm just trying to stay away. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I think I don't know if I can get away away. I'll sleep. That's fine. Uh, okay. That's me. That's all I'm doing. All right. All right. Run through this real quick. Okay. Each enemy in the uh, Ant Queen's uh, zone recovers a health. So each enemy. So Mothman. Oh, I want to recover health. I'm in their zone. Maybe give me a little. <laughs> Dang. Not opponent. If it was opponent, it'd be you. Enemy be is going to be them. They recover themselves oh, yeah, uh, right. as well. Okay. All right. Threat marker is getting advanced. Uh, three. One plus three. One, two, three, and four. That's that. the thing. We, we haven't had the bridge stuff. We yeah. can. Yeah. We need, to, we need to start thinking about that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, and then I uh, deal one damage to each opposing fighter in uh, and, uh, Ant Queen's zone. Right. Advance the threat one space. Uh, and then uh, we put another pheromone card in. We don't have another pheromone card. Cool. And then each player with a fighter in Queen zone discards a card. Yeah. Classic. Classic. Man. I think I will get rid of a few more pearls. Okay. I would want both my cards, but yeah, rough. We'll, we'll deal. Okay. Shake them up. And shake and bake. And bake. <sighs> shake and bake. Shake and bake. Yeah. What? Shake and bake. 
Okay. I feel like we're doing... Okay, although we got to start full out assault on Mothman, I think. Yeah. And just go for it. Because I, I think if we're, if we're dilly-dallying, they're about to destroy another bridge like already. And I'm like, we got to get yeah, going. Yeah, ramp up. Yeah. It's going to be tough. All right. Pheromones. Classic. Pheromones. Classic. Mothman. Okay, so Mothman, baby. Um, uh, they are one, two, three from you. They're two from Charlie. Boom, boom. Hi, Charlie. Man. Because I'm one, two, three away. Right. I can defend myself this time. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Okay, four. All then right, it, defend for two. Okay, so dang two. And then after combat, deal one damage to each adjacent opposing fighter. For each fighter damage this way, add a doom token to the lowest numbered bridge. So Charlie is adjacent. Boom, doom token, baby. Oh, man. <laughs> That's right. rough. That's a tough one. My after combat is I get to draw two cards, which is desperately needed. Oh, yeah. To so say the at least. least there's that. My lord. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, it's Trixie Hobbits, eh? Who's up next? All right. Aunt, Aunt Queen. Queen. So she's right next to you, buddy. Man. <laughs> Getting pummeled. Um, I'm going to try. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm just going to hope that it's a reshuffle card. Nope, it's not. <laughs> uh, so during combat, add plus one to this card's value for each revealed strange pheromone. So their attack is going to be six. Oh. No. Oh, you, you're blocking for one. You're blocking for one. No. Okay. <laughs> I am defending for one, so I will take five hits. Oh, my gosh. Any, any Christmas. Oh my Mike, gosh. I'd say just run to the Roth man and start wailing as hard as you yeah. can. <laughs> I'm going to deal one damage to the opposing fighter at least. Okay. I, if I had won the Dude, combat, which is super is doom, I would have done two. She's so big. Okay. That's Skeletons okay. on the outside of her body. That's the thing. Yeah, the exosuit, man. Tough. Yeah. It's rough tough, stuff. Tough life. Uh, All right. Oh. It's going to be either you or me. The fact that they went before us was tough. Yeah. You. All right. I am going to maneuver and I'm going to run away. Yeah. Um, one, two. And maneuver and if you again. can get out of her zone, that would be best. Yeah, because yeah. she's going to be keep hitting you and stuff. I'm just going to do that twice. Okay. I'm <sighs> guessing it's going to be me then. I'm last yet again, Mike. Thanks. Yeah. I, I, you. you know, I'm, I'm not going to change you. my ways, but I am sorry. Appreciate you. Okay. I am going to play... Um, I'm going to play Alpine Forest. This is a scheme card. So choose a card in your discard pile and shuffle it into your deck. And then I get to draw two cards. And then I move Golden Bat up to four spaces. I'm nice. going to grab my big hit, Super Strength, and just put it back in here. Nice. And I get to draw two cards. And I get to move four spaces, which is not a maneuver action. So my plus two, will, it's specifically for maneuver action. So I yeah. do have stuff that allows me to move. Smart. And so if I can move otherwise, I should. Yeah. And I think I'm just going to park right here. Nice. Because I want to hit the Mothman. Okay, I got two of my cards. Okay. So now, I, I, I am feeling okay. I'm feeling okay. Okay, you should. I think you're okay. I, I have to say that because I don't feel so great. Right. But I feel okay. I'm going to attack Mothman here. All right. Immediately cancel all effects oh. and puns card. Barf. So if I won the combat, I could have returned a random card from my discard pile back into my uh, hand. Oh I well. will, I do have five because I have three plus two because I didn't maneuver this turn. Nice. So it's going to be uh, three. Three damage on the Mothman. So not horrendous. I would love to have been able to get another card back considering the Jersey Devil got rid of so many of them. But hey. <sighs> yeah. That's what you're going to do. All right. That's me. Nice. Left to right. Each end of the queen's zone recovers one health. That is nobody. There's nobody over there. And then no one's in her zone to discard a card. All right, advanced threat. Four times, sir. Four times? All right, that will be enough to destroy that bridge. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, man. Oh, God. <laughs> it's so, it's just going so We're well. We're just not getting rid of any of these Doom tokens, and it's Thing probably is, a bad is that, idea. Like, we have them right where we want them. <laughs> so, like, each player discards a card, and the Mothman recovers each, one health for each player still in the game. So, two health. That's great. That undid most of my attack there. So they're back up to 15. Discard a card. Blech. Hmm. Okay, I'll do this I one. have to make some uh, decisions. Oh, but I have, that means I have no defense, which is probably not smart. I'll get rid of this one. All right. 
Yeah, okay. Okay, and then deal one damage for each opposing fight in Queen's zone. Don't have to worry about it. Um, right. Okay. Dude. Well, actually, and the Ant Queen would have increased the yes. threat by one. So there's no pheromone cards. So, um, wow. Okay. We're getting there, man. So, I have... So the question is, is do we try to mitigate the doom, or do we just go full out assault on Mothman? I mean, we are in territory now where basically if we do nothing with the doom, they're going to destroy a bridge every round. Almost every round, which yeah. Which means we have two rounds. Easy. So how do we <laughs> feel about that? Oh, I don't feel good about it at all, Mikey, but... Um, yeah, I don't know, man. That's tough. Yeah. Because here's the thing. You can get there if you boosted. I can't because I can't go through Mothman. Neither can Charlie. Yeah. So it's like, I don't I don't feel great about an all-out assault. But let, I mean, it's, it depends on who's going when, I yeah. guess. I think you're right. All right. We got pheromones, pheromones. out. Amin. You are up. Oh, wow. If you could move... The only way I Maybe can Maybe after move, you attack so yeah. that I could have, Assuming I get to go before, you know, I could step in there, that would be great. Um, yeah, I, I can... Ooh, I don't know, man. So, yeah, this is an interesting... Oh, no, that, that wouldn't help that much. Okay, yeah, I get, I'll attack first to the Mothman. Okay. So you're going to add plus two to your attack, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So during combat, increase the value of the car. Please one for each destroyed bridge. Crap, it's four now. Darn. Because I have three, and this is uh, the one where if I deal, uh, if I win the combat, I deal two damage. So I didn't hit them. I will do one damage from the after combat where I get to deal one damage to each opposing fighter in your zone. Nice. But if I won combat, it would have been uh, two. two. Yeah. So I only hit them once, which is a bummer. Yeah. Ah. Okay. It's so then something. I should probably move away. You want me to move, right? If possible. Okay, I'll move. Um, It'll allow me to hit them on my turn. Okay, so then I will go one, two, three. I'll stand near the queen. She'll be able to get to, I guess you can Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, but she'll be able to get to both I of us, see. so I I'd see. rather that her hit me yeah, than you, because I, I have that. more health. All right, all good? Yeah. All right, pheromones. Gosh, we need those to come out. Now. Mothman. Are you next to Charlie? They will attack. Charlie cannot defend himself. Classic. Hey, man. Charlie's in this. Charlie doesn't need to defend himself. It's going to be the reload card. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> Immediately, if the printed value of the opponent's card is four or higher, ignore its value. You didn't put a card. They're going to hit for three, Mikey. Charlie's alive and well. I've got two characters on one health apiece. <laughs> oh, man, don't leave us just the golden bat. Don't leave us just the golden bat. <laughs> You're the first superhero. You know what do you need me for? And then uh, if Mothman won the combat, which he did, uh, add a Doom token to the bridge. <laughs> Blam. This is uh, six, by the way, Mike. I just want to point that All out. All right. Six. Feeling stoked on it. This is going, uh, all going right. great. I'm going to maneuver. Oh, my gosh. We're so bad at this game. All right. I'm going to go boom, boom. Mike, you must have better on the biggest hit that's ever hit. I'm putting on the biggest hit I can on Mothman. All right. I have lower health than Mothman. I have lower health than everybody. So you're plus two. So I'm plus two. You don't have all lower right. health than Charlie. <laughs> that's true. Never. <laughs> We are together. Cancel all the effects on the opponent's card. That's fine. I couldn't afford to do the effect anyway because this effect, uh, I could deal up to two damage to any draw that many cards. Wow. I wish I could for the cards. I literally cannot, but I do do seven minus two, five hits. Ooh, that's nice. That's great. That's a big right hook. Pah! Yeah, that's a haymaker right there. Okay, they're down to nine. All right. Right? Okay. We can do this. <laughs> I don't know about that, but yeah. All right. Do you... Do your second turn? Oh no, that was them. I maneuvered and then attacked. That's right. So they did my two actions. All, All right, right, cool. Uh, take your turn. This is the Aunt Queen. Okay, she is gonna get to me. Yeah. Uh, I guess boom, up here. Oh man. I guess I have to do this. Yeah, I don't really want to, but um, boom. So three, I blocked for three. So if the Ant Queen lost the combat, advance the threat marker one space. She did lose the combat because she did not hit me. Yeah. So immediately fighters cannot leave their spaces for the rest of the turn. So if it was a car where you're like, after the combat you can move, you couldn't with this wow. card. You, you're locking people there. So we get to reduce threat? No, 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 they're going up. So if she lost combat, advance the threat marker one oh, space. Okay. Yeah. So, so it gives like a compensation. Yeah. All right, well, Whatever. I didn't get hit, which is good. I, I have a decent amount of health here. Exactly. All right. 
Things couldn't be looking better. Last pheromone card, I think, is what it's going to be. It is going to be the last pheromone card, indeed. Mm. I'm going to have to discard this card. Crap, this is my big hit card. Oh, oh and now they're in my zone. Each enemy, oh, so they're going to... No, they're not going to recover the health. Uh, the, each player with the a... The Ant Queen themselves will recover their okay, health, right. but the Mothman's not in the same zone. Oh, each player with a fighter in the Ant Queen zone uh, discards a card. That's actually a huge problem. That's a huge issue. I have no cards, and that was my kind of big hit card. Uh, okay, I'm going to discard my defense card, but if it comes down to Mothman first, Charlie going to well, eat it. I think you're, you're going to die right now anyway. What? Because deal one damage to... Well, let's go down the line, but you are going to have... You're in the queen zone, so... <laughs> just let you know right now, I don't know. Charlie's going to be alive, but I just want to let you know. So advanced, um, the threat is going to go up by six. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> so bad. Oh, this is all falling apart, hey? Yep. And this is going to go... Mothman recovers one health for each player still in the game, which is two, which is not great. Oh, man, then add plus one to all enemy attacks for the rest of the game. All of them? Yeah, buddy. Bro. Okay. Wow. Then deal one damage to each opposing fighter in Me. the Ant Queen zone. I am in the Annie Ant Queen zone. Any Christmas. <laughs> um, Where are you, Any Christmas? Oh, that's such a bummer. I didn't, I didn't, um, I don't, I don't know what we could have changed. I don't know either. But I wish I had noticed the zone thing. So Annie yeah. Christmas is defeated, unfortunately. Yeah, because the thing is, the Ant Queen could have gone here or here, but either way, you were going to be in her zone. So oh, there was man. not going to be. There's not a way we could have done it. I'm not down and out. I got Charlie. Charlie and I have no cards. So. <laughs> we're so bad at this game. Dude. <laughs> we are. We are desperately bad. You were so good. That's why we made our own set, Mike. <sighs> so we can get better at it. <laughs> we gotta practice, man. <laughs> okay. We don't, oh my gosh, yeah, this is tough. I that's such it. a that's such a bummer. That was such a the timing of that was pretty bright. Yeah, that's that's a yeah, that was a rough time. Oh man. Okay. All right, here we go. All right. Pheromone card is up. Rough. And the ant queen. Okay, we want them to come out early in that. She's case. gonna yeah, she's gonna hit me. I have no defense. Uh combat value is equal to the th level of the threat, which is one. Only one. So yeah. Wow, that's lucky. Ooh. Yeah, those are come out. Those those swarm cards come out at a decent time. God, she hasn't shuffled yet. This I think must it must be. Gosh, it's gonna be last. Oh, that's interesting to know though. Yeah. So if like I hit her, I know she can't defend it. Now I have no cards. You have but... no cards, and we have doom and stuff. You know, that's just that fact is <laughs> not as uh, relevant. Mothman uh, is going to attack Charlie. Charlie cannot defend himself. No, you can't. Nope. <laughs> Over the deception card. Easy game. <laughs> oh. Okay, so four damage, and then after deal one damage to each adjacent opposing fighter for each fighter damage this way, add a doom token to the lowest numbered bridge. So that's not going to happen, but Charlie, Charlie is wiped out. I am defeated, but we're not out until everyone's defeated or until the objectives are met. <laughs> it's going to be on you to fix, man. Player one. Let's go ahead and remove that from the <laughs> Remove that. Get that one Don't out worry of about here. that. I'm just a dealer. Now I am just literally a dealer of cards. All right, pheromones. 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 Of course, I'm last. Dude, I don't know. How I have I to maneuver. That. I mean, I have <laughs> to maneuver. I'm getting it pinched in. There's no point in me like running. Okay, so that's good. I got a, I got a defense card. So I'm just gonna go like one, two. Well, think about this though. The bridge is gonna get destroyed right now. You have to go deal with that. Oh, you're right. I can't. Well, okay. I'm sure you can. One, two, three. Yeah. And I can discard this card to take two. Would, if I can, what? since I've got nothing else going on. I would go around to the other side of the bridge, so you're out of the zone of the queen. Well, I, I, I that's I, as far as I can go, three. But would, you could do a second maneuver. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, but I'm gonna discard this card to take two doom off because you have to discard a card if you want to activate this. Also, I recover three health. There you go. So, yeah. So to activate the bridge and get rid of the doom, you have to discard a card, and then you take off doom equal to the boost amount. So I'm gonna have no cards again. But so you're gonna do that whole thing again? Do you think? Yeah. yeah. Um, we'll see what card you get. If it's good, maybe hang on. Because, I mean, yeah. could we survive? One, two, three, so four, So I'm going to just go five, one, six. two, three. If it's good enough, we're only going to go here with the threat? No, yeah. I guess with everything else. No, I think you'd have to do it. <laughs> Although, let me double check real quick. I don't know if you can activate a bridge twice in your turn. It might be once per turn. That's fair. 
No, it just says for a single action. So I guess I could. So it's a it's an interesting card. So it's it's my scheme card where I can place the golden bat in any space. And at this point, I'm very far away. But there's still five. Nah, let's just get rid of it, and we're just gonna get rid of these two, and I'll recover two more health. I mean, I'm, I'm up to 16 health. Like, it's not bad. We'll see. I guess. Come at me, bros. All right, uh, we'll go through these. All right. Uh, I'm not in her zone, so that one won't matter. Advance the threat one more. Uh, this it'll go up three more times. One, two, three. Well, I guess four because it's one Ooh. plus. Okay, yeah. So I'll have to damage the Mothman for eleven on my turn. You got it. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Um, uh, each enemy in the Ant Queen zone will recover a health. Just her. She's back up to ten. Classic. <laughs> Unkillable. Uh, it's a giant ant. Bro. Wow. We may have only delayed our fate. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, mean, I didn't have a great card to like attack with, so I don't know if that was like, it would have been better just to stand right in front of him, but like, here's the thing, I'm healthy. I'm so healthy. You're so healthy. All these bridges are going out, I'm gonna be like. Here, <laughs> here's like going back to a different <laughs> timeline now. Well, check out, see what the 20s look like. <laughs> oh man, all right, ready? Mothman goes So first. they're gonna go, boop. Now I realize something, Nick. The game might end pretty soon here. The queen can get to me. Queen so, can get to you. Pheromone. Pheromone. So they're going to go one, two, and they can't attack across this bridge here. So they're going to attack. Oh, they're not going to do anything, though. Oh, you are using that information well. <laughs> that, that was why I did it. Bam. So that's going to be nothing, but we are going to shuffle her deck. Wow, last card in the deck. Gosh, that's interesting. So I guess keep drawing until you get to me, because the pheromones won't matter for right now. Okay, I mean, I have to maneuver because I have to, I mean, they're gonna, I have to, can I get to them, can I even get to them? The Mothman? No, I can't, because I would have to boost. So, maneuver, draw a card, one, two, three. I can't leave, okay, I'm gonna try and take out this queen. There's no way. Come here, you stupid queen. <laughs> <laughs> this is all moot. They're going to destroy the bridge immediately. Yep. So it's I'm going to attack anyway. her and see if I can hit it for 10. I really doubt it. Do it. Okay, so her defense is five because it's equal to the threat level. Hilarious. <laughs> I did a one, but I deal one damage to each opposing damage? fighter. That's um, important to note. So she gets hit for one. Okay. Boom. We have and a then the pheromone marker. comes out. <laughs> let's add, let's see this through. <laughs> so advance the threat for one plus one for every Doom token, so advance it for four, and this bridge Boop. gets destroyed, and Mothman Man wins! <laughs> God. Oh, I feel like we were doing gosh. okay in the beginning, and then, man. We had a couple of moments oh. where discards and stuff were really... Rough. The, the Jersey Devil came in and like created a lot of chaos early, yeah. and then uh, we got rid of them, and... The queen, I feel like she was the main the problem. The queen was She rough. was beefy. Oh yeah. my gosh, she was whole hard. She's fast, she hits hard. It's hard to get away because they move so quick and stuff. Man. That was a tough one. Well, at first, like the doom is like spread out. So you're like, okay, this is fine. But then it starts compounding on the yeah, bridges. We should, I don't think we should have let it. And you're just, just like, get... whoa, there's a lot of that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. I love the ramp up. I like in a game where it ramps up and stuff. So early on, you're like, oh, all is well. But you're like, but if you don't manage it, Tough. At least a little. Tough. Maybe it's going to come get you later. Well, anyway. That's it then, yeah. That um, is how you do it wrong. <laughs> Accurate. That's how you lose the game. All right? So watch us and learn how from our mistakes. Don't you don't have to make way. your own. Exactly. That's what we're here to provide, Nick. We're providing services. Gosh, we're just like saints. You're welcome. <laughs> so that was an a unfortunate ending. A really well played game of Unmatched. We're, we're not, not great good at this game. We're not good at watching any of us. We're not very good at this game, but Sorry. we love Unmatched. I really liked the co op. I thought it was really cool and fun to kind of like talk your way through it. And the minions were, it was tough. And the cool thing is, it's like all of them felt different. Like the yes. Ant Queen felt very different than the Jersey Devil, and Mothman felt very different, which was very cool. Yeah, and there's eight minions, and so six. Sorry, six minions, yeah. and the individual minions themselves add a lot of flavor, and then they're coming in combinations. And so, yes. how do they work together? A million puzzles I have to figure out. On top of like the actual thing, which is the Mothman or those Martians. Indeed, indeed. So it's very, very cool. Uh, really, really enjoyed it. Again, make sure to check out Unmatched Adventures. Tales of Maze will be linked down in the description below for the Kickstarter. It's really, really fun. I liked it a lot. Um, and yeah, until next time, I'm Nick. I'm Mike. We're the Bros Murph, and we'll see you later. Bye. 
Thank you so much for watching that episode of The Game House. We really liked Unmatched Adventures. Make sure to check it out down in the description below. We want to give a big shout out to our channel sponsors, Restoration Games, Lucky Duck Games, and Board Game Geek. Uh, and honestly, I just hope you have a good day. Yeah, deal with it.